Hi guys, welcome to our channel. This is Chinam. I'm Ajay. In this video, we are going to tell you how to book day two and day eight COVID tests if you are coming from Amber List countries and if you are not fully vaccinated as per UK Health Agency. Okay. By the way, uh, if you're not aware about Amber List, UK has uh, divided the countries into three lists: red, amber, and green. And India is currently part of Amber List. I'll share the link in description below. You can check with. Uh, if your country is part of red amber or green list okay so since we came from india and although we are fully vaccinated as per india health agency with covid shield so still we need to undergo day 2 and day 8 covid test since covid shield is not acceptable by uk health agency yeah by the way if uh, again if you are coming from amber and you are fully vaccinated uh, as per uk national health agency then you only need to book day 2 test uh, which which would automatically be selected uh, once you go to the portal so let me just go to the portal share my laptop screen and tell you how you can book day 2 and day 8 test or only the day 2 test open google and search for amber list rules and just click the first link here Now here it will give the rules for England country, but since we were moving to Scotland, so I will click here guidance for Scotland. In this page, you will see the option to book COVID-19 PCR test on CTM booking portal. So just click on that. Click OK. Uh, yeah, here in this option, buy your two COVID-19 PCR test. click on scotland you have reached this website quarantinehotel.ctm portal now it will ask you from which country you are traveling so it was india and you can see india is in amber list and you can select the number of travelers and for in our case it was glasgow and click next So you can see it is one thirty six per person. Here you will give the UK delivery address where you want your kits to be delivered. So this will be your uh, isolation address. So in our case, it was our hotel address. You you can give your email ID where you will be getting emails when the kits were dispatched and when the kits were delivered. And then you can reconfirm your email and give your give the UK phone number if if you have any. If you don't have any UK number, you can give uh, your friend's number or anybody you know who is staying in UK. Otherwise, if you have uh, Libara number which you got from VFS, you can enter that. Then you need to fill the details about traveler. Here you need to enter the flight details by which you are coming to UK. Just the flight number, then the terminal at which flight is landing, then the actual date and time of the flight. That's it. Then here you can add the payment details, so you can choose any of your credit card or debit card or any forex card. And uh, below you will see the terms and conditions. Once you click on book, you will be getting an email immediately that you have booked the test. But that is not the uh, payment confirmation that you need. You need to take print out of that attachment and. carry it to the airport because that attachment is actually the payment invoice for your day 2 and day 8 covid test so you can read these two points carefully the second email will contain the reference number which you need to enter into the plf form that reference number will also be there in the attachment uh, if you open that that would be a pdf file so just read these two points so you can see that these are the two emails that i received uh, first is a covid test kit confirmation and then the actual booking reference id which you need to enter in the plf form we booked our covid test while we were in india and the day we landed in glasgow royal mail already delivered uh, the kits to redison blue which was our accommodation so these are the two kits uh, that we received from the reception Each kit has day two and day eight COVID tests that we need to undergo. So, guys, we'll be uh, unpacking this. So, let's see what this kit contains.
Now we'll see how to register our COVID test kit. This is a very important part guys because by doing this only NHS would be able to track you and give you your test results. So for that you just have to type here register COVID test here and you can open this link register a test kit for coronavirus. You can find the details here that you know by registering a test kit NHS would be able to match your contact details to the test kit. Go down and click on this link register a COVID-19 PCR test. Here you will see the option that to complete this form you need three things a test barcode then a mobile number and then royal mail barcode. So these two information you will find in your test kit only test kit barcode would be there on the test instruction booklet and royal mail barcode would be on the cardboard box you can click on start now myself click continue i've already created an account uh, when i did my day two covid test so i'll click here i'll type my email address You can see that I have successfully signed in as Ajay. Now I need to enter unique test barcode. So there are two options. You can manually enter the barcode or you can scan it from the webcam of your laptop or the camera of your phone. So I will choose the scan barcode option because I already have the test kit with me. It's done. I'll click continue now. Yes, I traveled overseas because I came from India. Then did you visit a red, amber or green list country in the last 10 days before arriving in the UK? Yes, I've been to amber country. Click continue. I'll type India here. So we are not taking this test on a test site but we are doing it at our home or an accommodation of our choice. Click select that and click continue. So this royal mail barcode again we have the both options. Uh, we can uh, choose to type it here or we can scan the barcode uh, on the cardboard. So I will choose the scan barcode option. I will click continue. So now we need to enter the date and time of uh, coronavirus test. You can enter the date and time of your coronavirus test. Choose today, 19 September and we'll be doing it at 1 p.m. And I'll click continue. So they'll ask if you have any symptoms. So no, I don't have any. No, I've never tested positive. I'm already vaccinated with COVID shield with two doses. So I will choose two doses here because they're not asking here for UK approved vaccine or any other vaccine. So I'll choose here. Uh, I have two doses. Click continue. So when did you have the vaccine? More than 14 days ago. Click continue. No, I don't have a landline phone number. So I don't have my NHS number because uh, I'm yet to receive my BRP card. Then you will see all the details that you've entered. I'll click save and continue. And my registration is confirmed.
दिस ट्रैकिंग आई डी सो दैट यू कैन ट्रैक इट लेटर सो गाइज फाइनली हम लोग का डे एट का कोविड टेस्ट कम्प्लीट हो चुका है एंड वी आस्क द रिसेप्शन टू ड्रॉप आर किड्स टू प्रायरिटी मेल बॉक्स सो होपफुली वील बी गेटिंग आर रिजल्ट बाई टूमोरो नेगेटिव रिजल्ट या सो फाइनली हम लोग आफ्टर टू डेज मूव आउट कर रहे हैं आफ्टर लॉन्ग आइसोलेशन पीरियड सो वी आर प्रीति मच एक्साइटेड फॉर दिस and guys uh, if you're not staying at hotel and if you're staying at some apartment then you have an option to go by yourself and drop your covid kits to the priority mailbox ye sab details about priority mailbox you can check from royal mail website i will share the link in description below and uh, priority mailbox uh, will look like uh, the photo that you can see on your screen right now so make sure that you do it on the very same day when you take your covid test and you register yourself on the nhs website after that only you will able to get the results on your email or your phone number so guys i hope this video was informative for you and we'll come up with more such videos while we are in uk thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe yeah bye bye